Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rossi, and today I'm going to be showing you my spring slash summer morning skincare routine featuring none other than 4th Ray Beauty products. Yay! This one I believe was the Wide Awake Trio and I believe it cost me $15 which wasn't bad in my opinion. I've been using them for weeks and they still look like I've barely touched them. A little bit goes a long way so I know that they're going to last me quite a while. This one I might run out of much quicker because it is a mist that can be used pretty much whenever throughout the day. But I just wanted to do this uh, updated skincare routine because I really really like these products and I kind of wanted to give you guys my thoughts on them as I go along so I'll try to breeze through um, my other products that I'm using but I will still show you them so that you guys know what I'm using currently but the main focus are going to be these three little guys from 4th Ray Beauty but yeah if you guys want to see uh, my current uh, morning skincare routine then keep on watching Okay, so I've already washed my face and I used this e.l.f. daily face cleanser with purified water and I used the Earth Therapeutics complexion brush to sort of really get into my pores instead of using my hands. I felt like using a brush like this really really makes a difference. I also like to exfoliate my lips every once in a while and so I'm using this uh, Pure Cosmetics X Full Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator. It looks a little bit like this, it's just white. It tastes like sugar, I mean I don't recommend eating it obviously, but it does taste like sugar. The exfoliating part of it is actually very very gentle, it's not like rough or super grainy and I feel like because it's like sugar, it basically like dissolves on your lips and you just wipe it off and you know you're done. I also like to apply this Essence Purifying Lip Oil and uh, this one has jojoba oil and I haven't been able to find these lip oils anywhere. I got this one, oh gosh, I don't remember when and I love it. It almost looks like a lip gloss and it's not it's not sticky. You can feel it on your lips a little bit, like the consistency is a little bit thick, but I love how it nourishes my lips very, very well. Anyway, since I've already uh, washed my face, my skin is feeling a little bit like it needs something. <laughs> my skin just tends to be like really oily in my T-zone and then um, I get really dry around my cheeks. I feel like this has become a problem area for me for like the past couple of months mainly. And I don't know if I can attribute that to the fact that the Oregon weather just changes so much. It fluctuates literally from one day to the next. You're never gonna know whether it's gonna be like super hot or it's gonna be like chilly or whatever because the temperature literally drops in one day, less than 24 hours. But anyway, I do like to use toner in the mornings and at night basically whenever I wash my face. And so I'm gonna be using this Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. And this one I got from Target last year and I absolutely love it. So basically this one just has um, this little hole that you just like turn upside down and uh, saturate a cotton ball but I decided that I didn't want to do that just because I feel like putting so much product into my cotton ball could be wasteful so instead I decided to put it in a little like travel sized uh, spray bottle from the dollar store to just to spray it on my face I also feel like I'm able to get an even amount of product all over my face with the sprayer and I don't know it's just I've really really been loving uh, using this. I usually don't do eye creams in the mornings, at least not every day, but I really want to do that today because I might end up wearing makeup later on. That's usually how I prep my skin before makeup basically. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. illuminating eye cream and I just grab like a little bit, like literally not that much, rub it in between my fingers and then just gently tap it on the bottom. And if I'm feeling like my eyelids are a little bit dry, I will also go ahead and put some on them. I know some people have said not to use eye creams on your eyelids because people with sensitive skin might have uh, reactions to that, but I don't have sensitive skin. I've always used my eye creams both on my eyelids and under my eyes and it actually moisturizes and hydrates my eyelids. For some reason, my eyelids were just getting dry and when I try to do my makeup, it would just be so problematic. So I've been doing that for years, obviously, but I started doing it even more during the winter. 
and my eyelids are getting a lot better and also I can attribute that to drinking more water. Anyway, I was just wanting to mention uh, those products just very quickly because those are part of my routine but let's get right into the products that you're here for um, obviously the first product I'm gonna use is this fourth grade beauty watermelon seed oil so basically what I'm gonna do is use three little drops I'm gonna warm the oil between my hands and then I'm gonna press into my skin I like to put some on my neck as well because you have to take care of that area too. At first I wasn't sure if I wanted to use oil, especially because it's already summertime and I do have oily skin during the summer, but I've come to find that this oil is much more lightweight and lighter feeling and like very thin than this uh, Physicians Formula Bright Booster Oil Elixir. So I use this one for nighttime because it's thicker obviously and then I feel like Ever since I got this one, I've noticed the difference between the two and so I felt like this one was better for uh, daytime skincare routine basically. I will say the only thing that I don't like about this is the scent. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, just I don't like it. It's, um, I'm not a fan of the scent. That specific oil has just become such a staple in my morning skincare routine. And once that's sort of like absorbed into my skin a little bit, I'm going to use this uh, matcha face milk. I basically do the exact same thing. Just two drops of this one because since I used the face oil, I don't feel like I need too much of this. So I will do two drops of the face milk on my face and then one on my neck. I really really do love this one. I don't feel like this one has a scent. At least I don't really like detect one. But I love that this comes with a dropper and it's like super easy to use. It's so milky and so lightweight and thin and my skin absorbs this one super super quick. And I love mixing um, the watermelon seed oil and this much of face milk. I feel like it just hydrates my skin so so well. I feel like these are such a great combination. Like they go really really well together. And you could even use them separately. Like you could use the watermelon seed oil with a separate moisturizer and you could use this as a moisturizer basically so yeah I've been loving these two together this brand of skincare is just so amazing and uh, shout out to my girl Clea from always Clea I'll link her blog and YouTube down below but shout out to her because she's the one who introduced me to this brand in the first place and whenever I got the chance to get a little trio I just went for it so far I really really love these and I totally recommend that some of you guys also get their little trios because you'll get to try them and you'll get to see just how great they are and they're so affordable as well which is one of the main things for me basically my skin is feeling pretty good right about now I'm gonna let my skin uh, absorb the oil and the face milk a little bit more and I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be back okay I'm done with my eyebrows for my brows I use the wet n wild ultimate brow retractable brow pencil I've already done a full face video using only wet n wild so I'll link that for you guys I've been using this for a couple weeks a couple months now and I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I don't know what it is about this. Like, I just can't make up my mind about it. I've already made a separate video with all those products. And I give you guys my thoughts on this. And I also have a blog post giving you guys uh, my reviews of all those products that I used in my video. I'll link all of that down below, like I said. I feel like my skin is already absorbed that oil and the face milk and my skin is feeling really really soft and smooth and kind of hydrated problem areas like around my cheeks where i have dry skin feels so much better so i'm just going to be using uh, some spf light moisturizer on top of all of that because we do need to use that every single day no matter whether it's cloudy or sunny whatever so i'm going to be using this simple light moisturizer spf 15 and no this is not cruelty free and i did not realized that when I picked it up a couple years back I'm still trying to finish it up and this one is just good to apply when I just need to get out of the house fast I'm gonna put some on my neck as well try to bring it down as much as I can just real quick this moisturizer does have the ingredients that you're not supposed to use that damages the coral reef basically so I don't recommend this I just I'm trying to use it up because that's all I have I'm still on a hunt for a coral reef safe uh, sunscreen so if anybody has any suggestions or recommendations 
please um, tell me down below in the comments because I really really want to get away from those uh, sunscreens that have really harsh chemicals and so if you guys know of any mineral based sunscreen instead of the chemical ones please let me know I wash my hands all the time so my hands are always dry so I'm going to be using this delectable uh, triple moisture body lotion this one is coconut and cream this one is cruelty free and vegan and I'm almost out of this one I'm just trying to finish it up but yeah that's pretty much uh, my morning skincare routine featuring 43 beauty and I know you're gonna say that I forgot one product I didn't this one is uh, fresh AF mist and you can use this whenever you want to basically I do use this after applying all my products just to refresh in my skin a little bit and I also use this throughout the day whenever I feel like I need it and because it's such a small little size I can take it with me wherever I go It just feels so good on the skin. A spritzer is like one of the best of anything I have ever ever tried that includes a spritzer. You get such an even amount of product all over your face with the spritzer. Like seriously, the spritzer is one of the best. But yeah, as I said, all of these products are just so amazing. I highly, highly recommend you guys go get a couple of them just to try. I believe they have a lot of different ones for different uh, skin types and one more thing that I wanted to mention each product on their bottom has like a sticker and that tells you when it was made for example this uh, watermelon seed oil was made on March 13 2019 we are in mid June right now the matcha face milk was made on March 20th this one was made December 14 2018 so this was made last year, but I feel like these ones tend to last a little bit longer than these products, for example. And also, like, you might end up running out of this before you run out of these. So it's fine. So at least you know, like, the batches, like, when they were made, etc. So you know just how fresh they are, basically. So that's awesome. I've never seen, like, any of dates like that except for Lush. So anyway, this is my updated spring slash summer morning skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I did switch up a couple of products from last year, but last year was also kind of like still kind of figuring out what products I liked, what products I should be using. I will link that video as well. It's been like six months since I made that video and I feel like a lot has changed and I'm pretty sure it's going to change for the colder months so i'll be sure to like give you guys an update on that when that time comes but uh thank you guys so much for watching my video as always um i love you guys and i will see you on my next one